We are underway in the Boohoo Man sponsored draw for Hyde. Good draw. Over very quickly. Andre just behind him. This is going to be tight. Both men looking solid. Draw on that last one, and it is Maxine. Andre Foy two. Little issue there. Looking for that. Oh, cool there. Three seconds left. He's going to be focusing on himself. Ooh, that's gonna hurt real. Maxine was so fast, six, seven feet up over the stallion. He used a lot of energy. Big drive off the start by both men would be good, and they clear it by a country mile. It's about Stellis and Fair. It's gonna be tight this one. That direction is so important. And you can see the experience there from Ivers. He's on that last bag already. This is flawless until that point. Commentators cursed him, and this is going to be tight now. Smoke Stellis and Ferris cannot afford the issues, and both men stumble right at the last bill. So frustrating for these guys. You've only got so much energy. Six bags. If you pour it out early, you run into this situation. Ferris took a moment, regathered. The direction wasn't there, though, and both men questioning their existence at this stage, punishing night. And Ivers, they're not interested in that anymore. Neil, do you think a heavy deadlift had a little bit to do with this failure? <laughs> Alexei Novikov, Singleton, both cleared that by a mile, and both men concentrating on trying to get the direction of Novikov missed that one, must go back. Singleton, seven feet over, and another four feet over with that one, needs one more, this is quick and it's there for Singleton. Novikov not far behind him after that correction. The T-Rex, it's better. Both men underway, Richardson smooth as silk at this stage. And this is really diligent from Luke Richardson. One more required. Oh, vicious, and it comes back at him. Needs to recollect there as Evans starts to try and make up ground. And Tom is looking solid here. It is Evans with the win. Evans nails that last bag, and Tom Evans, great recovery. can hear the frustration from Luke Richardson. The body is blown to pieces. Franz Meyer hit it for ball earlier tonight and he said, once you get to that last bag, it is brutal. We are on the way, Paddy and the Moose. Great performance from both these lads and they are in sync at this stage. In slight your head, it's a keep that focus. Oh, Paddy, with the miss there. The Moose, no mistakes. And Mitchell Hoople, the trajectory was perfect on the last two. Paddy was right there with him for the pace, but it's so hard to keep your focus. And you can hear the arena here willing him on. Much like Luke Richardson. Once you start to lose that energy and you break the stride, let him through the arena erupt. I'd love to see him get this one, Paddy. Oh, so close. Ten seconds called Darren Sadler. Last chance saloon. Not tonight for Paddy. Great effort. And it is the moose, Mitchell Hooper. Clear and smooth. Mitch. You don't seem to tire out. That's fourth event. And you just seem like you got all kinds of energy. And you're so precise. Can you tell us about that event? Yeah, it's one that it's very easy to make a mistake. And you know, the way that I train this, I actually don't have crossbars at home. 
the way that I trained it is since the bags operate on a parabola, if you're going three meters away from the crossbar and you're throwing six meters behind you on the ground, you know that you're hitting the peak correctly. And that's what it is as much as anything. I'm sure people up in the rafters over here could see most of these guys could throw all those bags over. In fact, I'm sure all of them could. It's just, are you peaking it over the crossbar at the right time? Magnus had told me, said, watch that sixth bag. You don't want to throw it from a distance. You want to get closer and have a better fulcrum, and it's all physics. He's kind of a smart guy, sort of like yourself, thinking these events all the way through. It's helped you so much. Yeah, well, for, for the lighter bags, if you throw it from further away, the distance by which it's over the bar is much greater, so it's safer that way. But of course, with the heavier bag, you don't have that leeway. It's only going to be peaked over the crossbar for maybe a couple of feet at most. So you have to make the most of that couple of feet. It was quite a good event for you. Power stairs coming up. You know, when you were talking earlier in the deadlift about consulting Luke Richardson, if you ever get an injury on just how you come back from it and talking to your coach, Laz, you know, that it kind of struck me. You're such a class act. You know, your, your moniker is lift heavy and be kind. When did that come apart in your heart? Well, yeah, I mean, that's, that's a clothing brand that I started, Lift Heavy Be Kind, and I think it's misappropriated as me declaring myself is that it's really, I lift heavy and when my wife, when she really likes them, when she describes them as kind. So that's how it was originated, and uh, it's a way to affect people on a, on a very broad scale, but very narrow. Uh, and then through that, we can do things where it affects people uh, really deeply. For example, we, we just don't need a whole bunch of money to a, a kid in America with incurable brain cancer. And this is a wristband that I'm wearing today uh, in support for him. So uh, it's just a privilege to be able to have this platform in front of you guys. And um, it's really changed my life. Well, Mitch Hooper, ladies and gentlemen, what a fantastic athlete. Strong man, extraordinaire, and helping humanity. I'm really proud of you. Thank you very much. Ashley Payton, love you guys.